Hello friends, welcome to Circuit Globe again. This is Roshni and in today's video lecture we will see the difference between conductor, semiconductor and insulator. So let's get started. Friends, conductors, semiconductor and insulators are the materials that are majorly classified according to the level of conductivity offered by them. Here in this video lecture we will understand on what factors the three are differentiated but let's first see what are conductors. So guys the materials that allow easy flow of electric current through them when some external potential is provided are known as conductors. Here the movement of charge carriers from one atom to another within the conductor results in flow of current. Let's understand this by the help of energy band diagram. So as we can see here that the conduction band and valence band are in overlapping state. When some external potential is provided to the material, then even at low temperature, the charged carriers move from valence band to conduction band, resulting in flow of current. Now let's see about semiconductors. So the materials that are neither good conductor nor bad conductors of electricity are known as semiconductors. Basically these materials possess electrical conductivity less than conductors. Semiconductors are said to be conductive under special circumstances. This is so because at absolute zero temperature charged carriers do not move but when some adequate potential is provided then charged carriers undergo motion and this result in electric current. Let's understand this by the help of energy band diagram. So here as we can see that the conduction band and valence band are separated by a small energy band gap which is indicated over here. We have recently seen that in conductors, conduction band and valence band were overlapped and this energy gap was not present in conductors. But here due to existing band gap, automatic excitation of charged carriers do not take place from valence band to conduction band. But once some specific voltage is applied, then the charged carriers present in valence band gains energy and moves to the conduction band and this results in flow of electric current. Let's now understand what are insulators. So guys the materials that completely resist the flow of electric current through them are known as insulators. Here free electrons are negligibly present. Thus these show high resistivity towards the flow of electric current. Let's understand this in a better way by the help of energy band diagram for insulators. So here the conduction band and valence band are separated by a very large amount of band gap. Also there exist very less number of free electrons in the valence band of insulators. We have seen in the case of conductors that conduction band and valence band were overlapping each other while in semiconductors we have seen that small band gap was existing between these two bands. But here in an insulator a sufficiently large amount of band gap exists between these two bands. Therefore even when external temperature is provided then also the electrons present in the valence band do not move from valence band to conduction band. Thus no flow of electric current takes place through such materials. Guys till now we have seen the basic definitions of conductor, semiconductor and insulator. Let's now see how the three are differentiated on the basis of various factors. So the first factor is conductivity. Now the question arises what is conductivity? The property of material that allow large flow of electric current through a material is known as its conductivity. Conductors possess very high conductivity, semiconductors possess moderate conductivity and the conductivity of insulators are almost negligible. The next parameter is band gap. In conductors, no band gap exists between conduction band and valence band. In semiconductors, a small band gap exists between conduction band and valence band. Its value is around 1 electron volt. While when we talk about insulator, then a quite large band gap exists which is around more than 5 electron volt in case of insulators. Moving further talking about resistivity of material. So conductors possess low resistivity. Thus high flow of current takes place through it. Semiconductors offer medium resistivity. While insulators are highly resistive in nature as very low or almost negligible current flows through them. Talking about the type of charge carriers that causes the flow of current. In conductors free electrons are responsible for conduction. In semiconductors electrons and holes both are responsible for flow of current. 
while an insulator we know that there is negligible flow of current which is only due to the presence of free electrons now the next parameter of differentiation is valence band so conductors have almost vacant valence band because the charge carriers quickly moves from valence band to the conduction band to support the flow of electric current while when we talk about semiconductors then these have partially filled valence band because whenever the external supply voltage is provided to semiconductor then the charge carrier starts movement from valence band towards the conduction band well when we talk about insulators then here the valence band is completely filled with the negligible number of charged carriers now coming to the conduction band so when we talk about conduction band so conductors have completely filled conduction band because the charged carriers that starts moving from valence band quickly move to the conduction band because here the band gap does not exist while when we talk about semiconductors then here the conduction band is partially filled because the charge carriers on application of external potential move towards conduction band while insulators support negligible flow of electric current therefore here the conduction band is completely vacant the next parameter of differentiation is number of charge carriers that supports the flow of electric current so conductors have very high number of charge carriers that are responsible for flow of current semiconductors have moderate number of charge carriers that result in the flow of electric current while insulators do not allow the flow of current as charge carriers are negligibly present in case of insulators now let's move further and consider the next parameter of differentiation which is behavior at absolute zero kelvin temperature so conductors at zero kelvin temperature behaves like superconductors superconductors are the materials that allow flow of current with no resistance beyond a critical value of temperature so conductors at zero kelvin behaves like superconductor that means allow complete flow of current with no resistance talking about semiconductors so at zero kelvin temperature semiconductor behaves like insulator that means they allow no flow of electric current through them and insulators possess the same behavior that is they do not allow any flow of current through them at zero kelvin temperature the next parameter is temperature coefficient of resistance the temperature coefficient of resistance indicates the change in resistivity of the material with respect to the change in temperature so conductors show positive temperature coefficient of resistance because with increase in temperature the resistance of conductors increases while semiconductor exhibit negative temperature coefficient of resistance as their resistance decreases with increase in temperature and the same case goes with insulators as they also possess negative temperature coefficient of resistance this is the reason the effect of temperature is such that when temperature is increased conductivity decreases in conductors while conductivity increases with increase in temperature in case of semiconductors and insulators talking about the type of bond that exists between the atomic structure so conductors have metallic bonding semiconductors have covalent bonding and insulators have ionic bonding comparing on the basis of effect of doping so when doping is done resistance of the conductor increases while that of semiconductor decreases however there is no change in resistance of insulator even when doping is done now considering some examples of conductor semiconductor and insulators so materials like silver copper mercury aluminum etc are known as conductors while materials like germanium silicon diamond silicon carbide etc are semiconductors while plastic rubber glass mica etc are known as insulators so conductors are used in conducting wires and cords while semiconductors are used in diodes and transistors while insulators are used in sports equipments and household appliances well guys this brings me to the end of this lesson i hope you have enjoyed this video so guys please like and share this video put on your comments below and don't forget to subscribe our channel for further updates i'll be back with another interesting topic till then take good care of yourself bye bye